Well, good morning, everyone. You got the Bud Man back from Heart Tongue Family Farms. Today is Sunday. As you can see, we do have a little bit of snow down. More non snow than snow, but this coming week, they're talking somewhere between 6 and 12 inches of snow we're going to get between Monday and Saturday. And then the freezer comes on. It's going to get colder than cold. So today, I'm picking up Tater Tot Casserole and Scott Ernest is coming down and two from the farms coming out we're gonna go tear out a little fence get some barb down and then uh come back hopefully tomorrow and tear the post out and then uh, get the trees out and then in the spring we will uh put the new fence up so that's the game plan today i put a text out to all the uh hunting buddies and they all said they'd help during deer season and then nobody can help but scott ernest today so we'll see what happens here yeah, i just picked up tater tot casserole now we're gonna go out and meet too. Any word of wisdoms? Um, no, not today. How old are you now? Almost 13. 13. Rumor has it you were deer hunting two days ago and you got a shot at a deer. Yeah. Did you get it? Nope. Did you hit it? Yeah, did skimmed you, it. Did you track it? Yeah. Okay, so who took you out? Tyler Hunt. Oh, you heard the words of wisdom from Tater Tot Casserole. He was out hunting at the farm. I saw him out there yesterday. They said they didn't see nothing yesterday. And the day before, they had seven deer come in. He got a shot at one of them. I think he needs practice shooting. I didn't say that out loud. Two. What's up? Looks like we got a low tire. Yeah. That needs a bath. But we're going to get some things together here. Then we're going to uh, head down to the valley and go up and tear some fence up. Okay, we're off to the races. All right. I should probably grab a hammer or so, just in case. Quick interruption to today's video, guys, to talk about the sponsor of the video, BetterHelp. Guys, as you know, farmers live in a world where we work alone, in a high-stress environment with not a lot of people to talk to a lot of the times. So that's where my friends at BetterHelp can help. BetterHelp is a way to get convenient and affordable therapy. They'll start off by asking you some personalized questions just to kind of help get to know you, and then that'll help match them up with one of over 30,000 therapists within their network, and most of the times within 48 hours. Join the over 4 million people that have used BetterHelp to start living a more healthy and happier life. Click the link in the description or go to this link right here, which is betterhelp.com slash heart tongue. Clicking that link will help support this channel and it'll help you get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp. So that again, that is betterhelp.com slash heart tongue. Okay, we're going up on top of that mountain there. Hopefully we can make it. Beautiful day in Jackson County, Iowa, folks. Sure wish you're all here helping me. Just when you go down the hill, make sure you stay on that west side, the right side where okay. I came up. Just be careful. Okay, we're up here. This is the fence line we got to take out. There's four barbs all the way down. And what we're going to do here is we're going to pull all this barb, pull all these posts. And then we're going to come in with the skid loader and saw. We're going to cut all these trees out and then put this new fence in in the spring. So I want to put a new fence in here. And I want to put a new fence in going that way. And I want to put the gate hole over here this time. Um, so it makes things easier on us. I want to put a new gate here. So a lot of work to do, but we're going to get her done. You see, I got the first barb cut out. Tate's up taking off clips. And here comes Scott and two. There's a, I can park her right there. There's a Scott man. There's the bud man. Let's see how many beeps we can get today. Tate's deep in the brush. Trying to get that clip off of there. He's getting it slowly. There he's got it. It's pretty brushy here as you can see. This way we get this fence out, pull the post, cut all these trees out, and then uh, put the fence back in. So that's the game plan. I don't know how old this tree is here, but this is how long this fence has been here. I'm gonna see if I can get in here close. This thing is right into the tree, halfway to the tree there. So I got to cut here to get that loose so we can uh, get this wire out. But So that's the problem with these trees here. What happens is these birds sit on these fences and they eat mulberries and seeds, tree seeds, and then they drop. And that's how all these trees get on these fence lines is birds poop on the fence and the seeds poop drops on the ground and then uh, it grows trees. One's down, two's unhooked. One's gone, two's unhooked. We got two left. 
You got Tate and the Scott man up here. We'll get rid of number two. Then we'll go from there. The side by side up there, that's about where we started. We're coming down all the way over to there. All four of these are gone. Uh, here's a clip here I gotta pick up here. Look at this. Ta da! All the barbs are gone up to this point here yet. Hi, too. Hi. Scott man. Fun man. Word of wisdom. It is always better to be owed a favor than it is to owe somebody a favor, bud man. There. That is wisdom from the Scott man. Picking up wire. See how that grew right into that? Oh, wire. Lots of it. Okay, I think we got her about whooped. Now I'll come back and yank the post out. And then we can cut the trees out and put the fence back in. What do you think, Tater Tot? Not faster. Really? really? Yep. I'm waiting for you to get caught. Well, we got caught all right several times. Well, there goes the side by side. There goes Scott, the Scott man, done for the day. Don't forget, we're in beautiful Jackson County, Iowa, ladies and gentlemen. Cows are looking good over there. So we got a big snowstorm coming in, I guess. So oh, I don't want to push snow, but it is December. We're going to leave the gates open because we're two and I are going to come back up tomorrow and pull those posts as many as we can that way when the skid loader comes up and starts cutting the trees they don't have to worry about the post so okay till tomorrow well good morning everyone welcome back to heart tongue family farms you got the bud man here anyway as you can see it's snow on the ground they're talking anywhere from eight to 12 inches of snow in the next couple days and then we got another storm coming in on friday saturday for another four or five so we're gonna go pull some fence posts and then I'm gonna move some bales down so I have them down there so I don't get ready to feed these cows good tonight. So gotta have them fed good with this weather coming in. They gotta have lots of feed. So we're going up the hill. <clears throat> Two and I are gonna have to pull some posts before the big snowstorm comes in. Actually we wanna get it out, get the post out before the frost hits it. We don't have much frost in the ground yet. So I'm gonna get these out so about a March, they come up cut all these trees out that's the game plan so okay one by one we're pulling them out two hooks it up I pull it out About, I don't know, 10, 12 more to go here, and I gotta go back and get two more back there somewhere. Pretty slick with two people, one would suck. Going up. Going up. Going up. Well, got her whooped. We got all the T poles pulled all the way down with the good help of two. Hi, two. He's kind of shy, so. But it looks like he says we got a load here, so we're probably going to have to take this up, dump it off, and come back and get some more. Yeah, it's full. So, but we got probably, I don't know, he said 25, 30 more posts to come back and pick up. So, I think he's going to lose them. He's going to run those up to the farm, dump them off, and come back and get another load. I'm getting ready for a snowstorm, so I moved down one, two, three, four. This is the fifth bale. We'll move down here so I don't have so far to move them. Stack them down here. That way I'll be a lot easier to feed them. Bucket blade. We're all set, ready to go for this stupid weather coming at us. Can't do nothing about it, but deal with it. So Mother Nature has its own little plan. 
So I got the blade on the back, I got the bucket on the front. So if we get snow, we're ready to go. Took some bales down to the cows, got the fence done. Two's in taking a nap, he's gonna work tonight. So everything's good up here. Now, just gonna wait. It's supposed to be about seven o'clock tonight. It's supposed to snow, we'll see what happens. But other than that, I'm gonna go home and shower and make something for supper and see what happens after that. So with that being said, you got the Bud Man from you know it. Beautiful Jackson County, Iowa, folks. Take care. Well, as you can see, she is snowing here in Jackson County. I think we got about eight or nine inches the other day, and we got about five or six now, and they're talking another four or five, so there's my wife. Hi, Jeanette. Hello. I'm gonna drop her off at the pool at the offshore hotel. They have a pool. She's gonna go in and do some exercises. I'm gonna run out and make sure the cows have feed. It might have to move a little bit of snow today so I don't have to move so much on Sunday. Puppy! Come on. Hi, kitties. Yeah, there, feed the cat some milk. Trying to dig out some bales here. Moving snow. Okay, I got pretty much it done for the day. We'll get more tomorrow, but I'm gonna grab a bale and take it down and see what God doing with the cows. We'll grab that bale right there. Pointing the finger. Okay, I got the wrap off it now, so plastic wrap. Now I'm gonna take it down and Put it in one of the feeders and they should be good till Sunday. So hopefully, just cruising down the road, but the snow is pretty. It'd be a lot prettier if it would stop snowing, but oh well. I think Ron might come up tomorrow. We're gonna move snow tomorrow, I think. Depends on how much we get. If we get another five inches like they're talking. We'll have to move it somewhere. Another winter day in Iowa, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm done for the day. I'm gonna run down and pick my wife up. I dropped her off at offshore, like I said before. Where's the road? Oh, there it is, right there. Okay, cows should be good till, uh, I'm gonna guess Sunday. We'll have to come back and do what I just did here, so. It's gonna get cold from Sunday till mm, the, about a week. But it is what it is, it's Iowa, so take care. Be nice. Well guys, it's been a little while since I've turned on the camera, since you guys last saw me. We have about 20 to 28 inches of snow on the ground. And we got hammered that week. We had two snowstorms in Davenport in particular. We had a 12 inch storm and a 15 inch storm. The 15 inch storm was actually the second uh, highest snowfall total in 24 hours on record in the Quad Cities. That's just nuts. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Still reeling from the snow, and then we had bitter cold after that. It's a high of five degrees today. It's zero degrees right now, and it's three o'clock. So it's, yeah, like I said, it's been a it's been a winter so far. But next week's supposed to get warmer. It's supposed to get in the 30s, maybe even the 40s. So that'll hopefully warm some things up. We can get the roads cleared off because the roads are not good. You can kind of see that. And you guys, I must be wondering where the heck are you? Well, I'm actually in Wisconsin right now, doing some equipment shopping. Saw on Facebook Marketplace there was a uh, piece of John Deere equipment that my dad and I are interested in. So we're going to go take a look at it. I uh, don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you guys because I want to keep it a little bit of a secret, especially if I buy it. But yeah, we're looking for some John Deere. And I kind of hope we get it because we actually need it for one, and for two, it'd be more deer equipment on the farm. Because, uh, yeah, you guys, you guys give me crap all the time. I know. I work for deer, but we run red. We have reasons for what we do, but uh, probably the biggest reason is they're not personally my equipment. So anyway, we'll uh, see how much we can film. But yeah, heading in uh, southwest Wisconsin, kind of halfway on the way to a basketball game. I'll head back through Dubuque and uh, go to my game after this. Well, I can only tell this trip was a waste of time. Boots hanging out, everything rusted out. Ah, knew it was too good to be true. Pictures look good, but the pictures always look good. That's why you never buy something sight unseen. So it's a John Deere 8250 is what I was looking at. 
and it's a drill it's a 10 foot wide what i'm looking for is a drill to basically seed waterways and alfalfa and i need so i need to have a grass box alfalfa you seed at a really low rate and it's a really small seed so you need to have what's called a grass box and that's what this small thing is here and then this is obviously this is for your oats much more higher volume higher rate of seeding so this is exactly what i was looking for i just wish it wasn't in a rough shape so it's probably need all new boots drives doesn't look too bad obviously it's buried in snow so i can't see everything right now but so i'll take a look at some things i'll take a look at the uh the bearings on all the disc openers Hydraulic hoses are bad. Yeah. Can already tell this one's going to be a no. But, like I said, it was an hour away. Doesn't hurt to go look at it, that's for sure. Wish the pictures would have been a little bit better. It is what it is. Of course, it's freaking cold out. It's about zero degrees out right now. So in this wind, it's just cutting through me. Just came from work, so I'm not really dressed for it. But, yeah, what do you do? And I also didn't realize this guy was a jockey. I knew it was, I thought it was a farmer that had it. He was on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, I definitely just wasted my time, but hey, here's what it is. Like I said, good to see the countryside of Southwest Wisconsin. You guys got all a bunch of stuff, old grain carts, manure wagons, planters, sprayers, mergers. This in this area of Wisconsin, it's a lot of livestock, kind of similar to what we have here. Just farming the hilltops and valleys. You gotta have cattle on it to really make it work. So very similar to us. Oh well, so my John Deere shopping trip has concluded for today at least, but hey, we'll keep my eyes open, that's for sure. Well hey, at least on the bright side I was able to film for you guys. Just the downside is, uh, <laughs> that was in rough shape. He said, oh, field ready, good to go. <laughs> Boots were off, needed new, uh, everything was all rusty, it needed new, uh, needed new boots. Half the bearings were going out on the verge of being out. That's not good. Oh well though. So uh, really, you guys really haven't missed a whole lot. Really the biggest the biggest deal we've had in the last week was just keeping cattle alive in the sub-zero temperatures and all the snow that we got, the, almost the three feet of snow. It's It's been a challenge, water has been freezing. So when stuff gets that cold, it's, it takes a lot to keep keep things moving, keep things uh, keep things alive. So, so yeah, that's what the guys have been up to. That, that's what my dad's been up to. I haven't been up to the farm a whole lot, partially because the roads were closed for three days, so I wasn't able to get up there. That's why they got snowmobiles. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, Grandma, Grandma's doing better. She's uh, recovering slowly. She hasn't been home for over a month. So that's definitely tough on her, but she, her spirits are good at least. So I appreciate all the constant prayers you guys have been sending. And we'll see what happens but yeah i knew as soon as i went over the went over the knob there and saw all the equipment there i just knew uh because it was a jockey it wasn't gonna be in good shape like i said you really i have i don't have anything against equipment jockeys it's a good way to make a living and turn equipment around but uh usually they're not as taken care of as other you know farmer owned stuff so that's my goal is i want to try and find a you know a farmer owned drill or you know a guy retiring or whatnot just something to basically drill our alfalfa for our waterways, maybe some cover crop, etc. All right, well, let's catch you guys up next time I head to the farm, which might be tomorrow. We'll see.